Hey everyone, Tina O here, and I'm um, I've just gone for my for a good run. It was my first 5K in a while, which let's be honest, 5K is like oh, just starting. But I'm going to be kind to myself and I'd be grateful for that 5K. And uh, even my dog was like, "What the hell are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? What what what, what? we got about of a." you know, a, th- a third of the way in, and he's like, whoa, 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 no, 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 we're heading back. I'm like, dude, we're not heading back. Come on. This is our, this is like the beginning of spring. So what I wanted to share with you today was, uh, you probably noticed that I've really stepped up in my offering to the world of um, story work. And that's great. It's like, it's not just great, that's like, I'm uh, stoked, right? Like, wow, this is what it's been all for. And uh, I had this thought, though, and this comes, it's actually connected to the same piece of work, is remembering that the audience that you build with your core story, they're way, they, they, there's a piece that brought them there, and and not to forget that. And I know that many of you discovered Tina O Life as I was doing my triathlon piece and my coming back from cancer. Um, and that it was that journey that introduced you to Tina O Life in the first place. And I know that it's not about cancer and it's not about the triathlon. It's about the transparency of the story. And uh, and I've taken a break from that, of course, because with every with every landing like every challenge after every challenge comes a land and the challenge for me was the coming back piece right and yes it was celebratory it was about yes i can my body can i'm back or the new me you know getting used to the new normal and the psychology of the new normal and the body of the new normal and the mindset so all that stuff and, but with that arrival, shall we say, that landing, then you, I, I didn't just do the challenge to stay the same. So I started building. And that's where the, the piece of You Matter showed up, Core Story Goals, Core Story showed up. And so I took some time off. I took some time off of, of exploring and went into building. And this morning I woke up and went, oh my goodness, I have like people in my life who their their connection to me is not about building. It's about challenge and transparency and risking and growing. And uh, not that I am obligated to you in any way. That's not what that's about. I certainly don't want to be part of a message where we build audiences that we're obligated to because my word is you matter and that's my core story and the way I get there is with freedom but I also recognize that that honor is a word for me too and honoring our connection uh, is a piece of that and so I had the thought oh my god it's time to put my runners back on it's time to go for a run because my way in is through, my way into some stories is through the body. Because it's actually the piece I've avoided the most. I didn't even know I lived in a body. <laughs> right? So I went for a run today and I'm sharing with you um, that this piece of my life is still very much alive. And is still how I grow. So I'm Tina O from Tina O Life, where all things story happen. And uh, I'm really glad you're with me. And look, look, yeah, the ocean. I'm an ocean wind, ocean and wind lover, right? Yeah, so I did 5K today and I'm pretty happy about that. You know, I'll get back up to 10. But bloody hell, five after like eight months of not doing anything or whatever it is, seven months, six months. I don't know. I can be happy about that. Have a great day. I'll check in with you again. And thanks for listening.